This little baby, he's been through it. He's been out in the wilderness. Look, this little got hurt. Something hurt him. I think he chewed himself free from something. Bless this little. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad he's home. I gotta doctor him up now. His little. Bless his heart. Look at all the cockaburs I got off his hair. Wash his paws. He dug himself a little den. He been gone. Gosh, almost three weeks. It seems like. Broke free of his harness and he'd been hanging around the creek in places, but something scared the hell out of him down at that creek. And uh, I kind of feel like someone might have got him and got free. He dug himself a little den in the f uh, fence row right near the house. You couldn't see him. He dug under the fence and dug himself a nice little fox den. And that's where he was hiding. And Princess. Princess found him. She led me right to him, and he came out wagging his tail to her. And uh, I, she stayed with him. I went and got some uh, hot dogs, and slowly he came out, and he was wagging his tail to me. And I've been calling him. I was so talk so sweet to him, but he's not going. He ain't going outside till I get me a, a fence up here around my house, cause he, he he's too precious. He's too precious. He's like gold. I worried myself. I just have to thank Jesus for. I kept praying, kept praying to please bring my baby home. He's the only thing I got left. It's. I promised Cash I'd take care of him, and I felt so horrible when he broke free of his harness. But I knew I put food out for him every night, and there were wild animals and everything. I put up, bought a big old cage, and uh. That scared him bad. He didn't come around for several days because he saw the cat, the little wild cat, and a possum got caught. I let him go because I was trying to catch him, but he's too smart for no cage. He said he'd come home when he's ready to come home. Something scared the hell out of him. And on his eyes, I know people say, what's wrong with his eyes? That's a genetic disorder, and I'm going to have to get him back on his steroids and stuff and get this cleaned up. But this is what's concerning me is this hurt down here by his mouth. I think he got attacked or was captured by somebody and chewed his way out i just know he's home and he was glad to be home he went he made it known that he was here he says i'm here and uh he didn't run from me this time he he uh thought it was a game at first but it became no game for him it became something scary and now he's home inside his in his favorite chair and he's gonna get all the love he's been missing for all these weeks and princess is here she's glad he's home my babies are home, and now I can just have to be vigilant and be very careful when I ever take him outside that he's going to be in my arms or in a pen, because I'm going to sit up there with him, because he loves the outside. He does. He's a sweet baby. I just hate that his little eyes got messed up. They were healing up really pretty. They were got him on a vitamin. I had to get him back on his regiment. Bless his little heart. He's a sweet little boy. He's a He's a powerful little strong baby. He's a good man. He is. And I'm glad he's home because he helps me have a link to cash. Cash is up in heaven because that man that lived behind me killed him. Killed him in my own yard. Just shot him dead right through the heart. Mean. That's why I don't can't go down there to the meanness. But I've got Arlo here. And I'm so glad I got him. And he's, he's going to stay in my eyesight for now. I ain't going to walk him down the creek. That creek was too much for him. He got excited and he broke his harness and ran to it. And Back and forth, we went to the house, the creek. He kept running. He thought it was a game and then I lost him. I couldn't catch up with him. I got diabetes and uh, health issues. And But he's home now and I'm so happy. This is a gift from God. He's always been a gift from God. He's a sweet baby. He just he just had a lot he had to deal with. Kinda, you know, when you're born, with, when you have a genetic disorder and you kind of get separated from your family and live isolation you need to know if someone loves you and boy I love this little fella he's a sweet boy really is